Hello there, welcome to this demonstration of Software and Cargo version 1.6.3 and specifically the integration with the new Phoenix A320 aircraft which we are sat in at the gate at Nantes and the purpose of this video is to go through the, the integration of the 3D cockpit with the new announcement system that came with the Phoenix aircraft because like Software and Cargo, Phoenix can play certain announcements at certain uh, stages of each flight for instance so welcome aboard notice uh, safety notices etc etc um, you do have the ability to turn them on and off uh, on the EFB I have mine disabled obviously because I use the self loading cargo ones but in the interest of sort of keeping things uh, in, in, sort of integrating smoothly with various add-ons and giving you the choice over what you would like to use. I've added a couple of settings to Selden and Cargo to allow you to play the Phoenix announcements instead of the self and Cargo ones at the times where they would overlap. So basically self and Cargo will suppress its own announcements um, where the Phoenix also has one if you have that option turned on. Like I say, I have it turned off, but if you wanted to have it turned on, what you would need to do is go to self and Cargo, and the settings window, compatibility, aircraft, Phoenix A320, and then you have these options here. The newest one is at the bottom. The one, the one that's applicable to this situation is this one here. It's turned off by default, but if you turn it on, it says favor Phoenix cabin announcements where applicable work in progress. If turned on, self and Cargo will suppress playing its own announcements for those which come with the Phoenix aircraft where applicable, off by default. So if you want to hear the welcome announcements, etc., that the Phoenix aircraft comes with, self and Cargo will still, it'll, it will flow through the announcements as if it had been playing with them and you will still see narration on the, uh, on the narration window, but it won't actually play the sound and you'll just hear the one coming from the Phoenix. And, the ones where obviously the Phoenix doesn't come with, you'll still hear self loading cargo. As I say though, if you want to turn uh, the, if you want to turn off the announcements in the Phoenix, just turn it off in the AFB and make sure this is unchecked as well. And then self loading cargo will will play all of its announcements instead. Now the other integration parts that I want to go into are to do with the 3D cockpit and. We had before the cockpit door detection and the APU detection. So the cockpit door allows you to basically open the cockpit door and uh, the volumes will amplify um, or decrease based on whether it's open or closed. The APU detection allows you to hear the spool and the noise of the APU outside of the aircraft if the cabin doors are open. But new ones that we have now are enable intercom integration, enable PA system integration and enable the ground and well the ground integration on the int mech button and I'll go through these at the moment so basically these are on by default and because they're on by default it means it works out of the box you can turn it off if you don't want to use these facilities but uh, the whole idea behind this integration is to make it a lot more immersive so one of the things that I've done to make make it more immersive straight away is to add a, a button to the voice recognition helper window to allow you to turn the user interface off because you no longer need to use these buttons here they are all associated with functionality built into the radio panel here which we're going to go through in a second so if you want to ignore self load and cargo or hide it or whatever just click this little button here that says SLC UI it'll go red and the user interface will disappear. If you want to bring it back, just click on it and everything's back to normal. I'm going to turn it off because we don't need it anymore. If we wanted to talk to the cabin crew though, we can, I'll zoom in a little bit, we can click on the cabin button. Now, it's not going to work in a minute because that is turned off. You see? But if I was to turn it on and then press it, it rings the intercom. I'm going to hang up. You'll notice the light's gone off because we're no longer talking to it. Press it again and we'll wait for a reply. Keep an eye on the green. Hi, Captain. How are things going? All good. We're ready to go once the jetway is removed and we'll start securing the passengers when we begin to taxi. Thank you. No worries. So we were able to bring up the... Uh, the intercom as if we were talking to the cabin crew and uh, obviously when it when it hung up the light went out and similarly if she was to ring us 
and require attention, the light would light up and we'd just answer as normal with the voice commands. Same thing with the PA system here, we've got the PA button. It doesn't work until you actually turn the PA on. And then I can make it an announcement to the passengers. Good evening from the cockpit, this is your captain speaking. Now I'm not going to do the rest of the announcement. And there is a countdown, so if I view the UI, you can see the progress bar down there because this is one of the smart announcements, but watch the green light go out. So we're no longer in the uh, PA system. I'm going to turn the UI off again. Um, so we're no longer in the PA system. If I wanted to contact the ground, I can turn on the ground and when I press this, it will key the microphone. And we wait for a response. Go ahead. Radio check, please. Reading flight flight. Roger. Nice French accent there, because we're in Nantes. But as you can see, again, the light goes out. Go ahead. Radio check, please. Check the outside, the outer side. Roger. That's all there is to it. So, again, if you want to turn this functionality on or off, just go to settings, compatibility, aircraft, Phoenix and just turn any of these off and that will uh, prevent the the cockpit buttons from uh, from being well from having any effect with self-loading cargo thank you for watching see you in the next one